Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a thorough walkthrough of Topo Topper's Badlander cab over style camper. I'll be doing the whole setup process for you and what that looks like. We'll talk about the construction, materials that were used, also accessories and options that Topo Toppers offers, as well as how it holds up in various type of weather. So let's get started on the pop-up process. So the camper is secured by four separate latches, one on each corner and a carabiner. So you'll remove these first. Just leave the carabiner behind. Once you've removed all four latches, you'll put your tailgate down and you'll hop up and use the push handle. All right, now that you've opened it from the exterior, you're gonna hop into your truck bed, grab this handle, lock it out, and secure it with the Velcro strap. This is basically two aluminum panels with the hinge running down the center that allows it to open and close onto itself. All right, so this part's a little bit hard to show, but I have the camera towards the cab of the truck, and all I'm going to do is press up on the roof of the camper and allow the gas struts to do the work. Locking it out on the cab side is the same process. Pushing with the handle, securing with the Velcro. Now that it's set up, let's talk about the camper. So the camper itself weighs roughly 340 pounds. They used aluminum for the siding as well as the roof. They used a WeatherMax 80 marine grade material for the sides of the tent. They have a few different options for windows and doors. They have an awning as well as sliding glass and two different cargo doors. This is the Arctic Turn. The reason why I went with the door rather than the window is for side access. Makes it a lot easier to get backpacks and little things in and out of the doors. They actually make some in-house now, which are a bit larger than the Arctic Turn. So if I were to go back, I would probably go with their doors. As you can see, there are two gas struts, four in total, that keep the camper up. Those struts can support 200 pounds when it's closed and 100 pounds when opened. So the next option that I went with that Topo Toppers offers are the L-Tracks. I have these mounted on the side as well as the roof. This allows you to put surf or ski racks as well as mount uh, things such as the roto packs, water, and gas cans. Additionally, got these brackets, which will eventually allow me to mount an awning. Both the rear and the front window are made of acrylic. As we go inside, the first thing that you'll notice are the two bed stiffeners, one on each side, and that just helps prevent the bed from flexing. Now that we're inside, one of the other options is lighting. They have one for the lower and one for the upper deck. They use LED strip lighting on both the upper and lower deck, and it's wired to be used on a Jackery style power unit using a 12 volt. And here's the lighting on the lower deck. It's hard to tell from this angle, but they also offer a sliding glass window. The reason why I went with this option is to allow me access to my cab if I choose to, and eventually 
I am thinking of taking out a panel from both the camper as well as my truck so I can fit larger items not only into the camper but into the cab such as like a longboard surfboard. So there's two windows, one on each side of the camper and there's three different layers. We have first that Weathermax tent material. We then can remove that. And you have a vinyl clear transparent material. And then lastly, lastly you have the mesh material to keep the bugs out, but also provides ventilation. Now I'll just do a quick demonstration of putting the panels back onto the L track, L bracket, so you can see what it's like and how easy it is. There's the front panel. And here's the rear panel. And just like that, you have your bed. So this is just the amount of room you have when you have the panels sitting over the actual cab of the truck. It's pretty roomy and pretty nice. All right, now that we're in the camper, let's talk about how it does in various types of weather. So as I stated earlier, the doors actually do leak at the seal, which is mid span on the door, collects up in the sill and then drains down onto the wheel well and then onto the floor. Another problem area is in the two corners and it's actually where the camper meets the railing of the bed. It drips down and then puddles into the two corners of your truck bed. It's not the worst thing in the world, but if you do have electronics or valuables in your bed it may be a problem so either completely sealing off where the camper meets the railings or possibly filling in uh, the holes in that EPDM rubber seal wind the material itself is pretty taut so what happens and it's very light so when you get any type of substantial wind it makes this snapping sound. I have some video for you right here. Uh, this was in the desert with roughly 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts. No. Due to freezing temperatures, what happens is the snow on the exterior isn't necessarily the problem. It's the condensation interior, which then freezes on the inside of the tent, which makes the morning pretty rough. Not only is it very cold interior, but the material itself almost seems like it might um, break just due to how fragile it is and there's no way to melt it and dry it off. All right so lastly two of the things that I didn't add earlier are some of the options that I decided not to go with. That's the intake and exhaust fan on the roof as well as the solar panels. I hope you guys enjoyed this walk around of the Topo Toppers Badlander. If you have any questions uh, comments leave them below if there is anything that I didn't answer go ahead leave it below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability um, thank you guys for the support thank you guys for tuning in see you guys later